welcome back pipers I actually have light for you today uh, I am experimenting today this won't be a long video I'm experimenting with the green screen I used to use the green screen for my other channel uh, I kind of got the knack of it toward the end and then YouTube decided to so I got something in the mail that I can't wait to show you Told you it was on the way, and uh, it came. So this is the Excellent Elite Spanker Pack. So this is a waste pack, so you can put it on your belt, and uh, bingo. This is pretty awesome. So I got these two small tins that I use to hold tobacco. They actually fit in the front pouch, or you could actually put your phone in that pouch, I think which I probably will do, and I'll put the tins inside. Um, you got your check tool you can put there. You got your pipe you can put here. Uh, my lighter. See how that slides right out right there? So you got two, two different pouches, two different sides. You can put tobacco. I got, I mean, it even fits pipe cleaners in there that's how big it is so i am impressed it's like 25 bucks i got it on amazon so i like to have a something i can hang on my waist okay i like to have that i'm gonna light up my pipe because i already got it packed <laughs> oops better take the cap off though and I am, this is taboo, folks. You do not use a torch lighter on a pipe. Hmm. All right. So. Today was a lot better day at work, by the way, than yesterday. Um, that's enough about work. I'm not talking about work. Yeah, actually, this is going to be a trial for this background. I think it will work pretty good, actually. Pretty pleased with it. It hung up pretty easy. This is also an experiment. I found those two little tins, and I had some of my creme brulee in the one tin. It's been in there quite a while, and it seemed like, yeah, it wasn't. It didn't have the moistness that it comes with, so... This might prove my point that I was talking about yesterday. When it dries out. As far as uh, room note, there's not much difference really. This is quite a bit drier than what I usually smoke it. Um, flavor, yeah, the flavor is... You don't get the... You don't get the flavor quite. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. You, it, it's it's always going to be good. Uh, but like I said, if you got it and it's still moist, and it will be when you get it, it'll be more than moist. You just pack that thing real loose. And uh, you'll be good. I mean, I only had like this twice. It's, it's burning. Like I said, this was a little drier, but it's not bad. I mean, it wasn't dry, dry either. There's still some moistness to it, but it's not like it was. But it's good. Mm. Very good. So how's everybody doing today? I hope good. Uh, I ordered some Moon Trance and some Molto Dolce. I will probably do reviews on both of those. If you don't know what Moon Trance, that's from CAO. And it's kind of a vanilla blend, but it's really good. Plus, I needed another tin, especially now that I got this. I need a bigger tin. I don't like using these small ones. So that should be maybe here tomorrow or the next day. 
So I'll do a review on those two things. For all you who care about aromatics, <laughs> a lot of the English smokers are probably like, like I give a damn about any of these aromatics he wants to talk about. But, hey guys, we got to stick together. You English smokers and us aromatic, we're all, we're all in the pipe community. We got to stick together. I am very sorry about yesterday's podcast with the lighting. Okay. I had to flip the phone. Uh, when I looked at the screen, it looked fine. I didn't realize, and then I recorded the whole thing, and you couldn't even see me. That was ridiculous, but I went through all the effort, so I was like, ah, screw it. People might just listen to it. But uh I tell you, folks, I'm really enjoying getting back into this podcasting thing. And I'm very surprised how much more I enjoy just talking about the pipe. Uh this pipe hobby, then politics. It was a, that was a grind. And, uh, I was, I think almost, I was almost too into it really. Um, and I think this will help that. I won't, I'm just not, I'm just not following it as much. And it's probably a good thing. Actually, I know it's a good thing. Pretty pleasant today. I got the garage door shut though. But I'm going to get a heater just because I know it's January already. And I just know we're going to get a deep freeze coming. And as I gain, gain more subscribers, I'm not going to want to go too many days without putting out content because I don't think that's fair to my subscribers. So. Also looking forward to going to Arlington Heights. Uh, they have a what looks to be a kick-ass uh, cigar lounge there. And they sell pipes. And there's already I've already found a pipe on the website that I want. Reasonably priced, too. To be honest with you, this will probably be the first non... Well, this isn't a basket pipe. My wife got me this. Uh, this is a Dr. Grabow, but it's, it's one of their nicer ones. I can't read it, but it's more of a sy system pipe, you know, anti-moisture. It smokes terrific. I love this pipe. Love it. But, uh, yeah, they got, they got some beautiful pipes on their website and I'm looking forward to going home. I'm trying to try to go this weekend. Ain't going to make a promise that I'll get there, but I'm going to try to go. And uh, you'll see everything. Everything they have to offer. It looks really awesome there. I already called them because Chicago started their vaccination mandate. So I made sure that I didn't have to be, I'm not vaccinated, I'm not planning on getting vaccinated. But I called to make sure that that wasn't going to be a problem or an issue. They said, no, we're not. We don't have, we're not going by that policy. So that's good. But I like to plan ahead. You know what I mean? Drive all the way over there. <laughs> You're not vaccinated. You ain't getting in here. And I'm not going to go get fucking tested, you know, just to show I'm negative. Folks, I already had COVID. I've been through it. I got the antibodies. I, I have no reason to go get vaccinated now. I wasn't going to before. I'm definitely not now. It's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> this whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a, a video without talking about this ridiculous bullshit. Seriously. It's just so ridiculous. I'm sorry for all of you who, you know, are following me or watching the video and you, you really take this stuff seriously. Uh, like this is like the death plague. It's not. Trust me, 99 point what? 99.75 survival rate or something? Oh, we had, we had all these people die and... No. But anyway, 
I am looking for. Hopefully, I can go. Unfortunately, with just so you know, I'm going to talk about work probably more than what I probably should. I work at a tire, we'll just say a tire factory. It is not one of the biggest tire manufacturers, but it's a pretty good size one. I am in tech service, so yeah, I'm a defect technician, so I'm in the tech service part, quality, all that. Um, doing root cause for strap, um, defects, all that type of thing. And right now, let's put it this way. Last year, we hired 250 people, and we only filled 125 slots. So half the people we hired either quit or was fired. Mostly quit. So we got constantly new people. It's a revolving door. Constantly new people coming in. Trying to get trained. Mo a lot of them don't even get through their training or understand what's going on before they leave. That takes its toll on quality. So people in my position, it, it kind of sucks. I mean, you're chasing your tail every day. But... What do I always say? It is what it is. And I'm thankful that I have a job. They, you know, it's a decent wage, decent enough. It's not, there's definitely better out there, but I got insurance, uh, good benefits. First shift. So, only problem is right now we're so busy. We're working Saturdays, every Saturday. So I have one. I mean, I can get Saturdays off, but I want basically one day off a week. So Sundays, I try to make the most of Sundays, and I might go there Sunday. We'll see what happens. So, and I might try to get a couple people to go with. Um, we'll see. It's kind of short notice for people. A lot of people don't like that. It's like, dude, why don't you give me a little bit of a warning? I'm not like that. I'm like, come on, let's go. Again, I hope everyone is doing very well. And again, you know, before you turn on the video, load up your pipe. Get your favorite drink. And smoke with me. That's that's almost a prerequisite for watching, for belonging to this channel. All right? I was talking about all the joys of this hobby yesterday. Pipe collecting. Storing tobacco. So every day you get to figure out which pipe you want to smoke that day. What tobacco you want to smoke in that pipe. What drink you want to have with that. I look forward to it every day. A lot of people probably think, what's the big, what's the big freaking deal with this shit? This guy... I guess you just don't know till you are doing it, till you belong to, you know. It's, you know, I see a lot of people, maybe not my age, but not much younger than me. Definitely older than my child, my oldest child, which is, he's 31. He's going to be 31. Another two weeks. Wow, I'm old. Talking guys in their 30s. There's guys I work with at work that are in their 40s and all they do is play video games. And I'm like, dude, when are you going to buy a fucking pipe? You don't know. I mean, you it's, I just, I just can't imagine the amount of time these guys just sit in front of the fucking TV playing video games. Well, I mean, whatever. It's what people enjoy. Do what you enjoy, right? Uh, I just, I just think this is one of the most just awesome secrets. I never ever thought that it would be as profound as it is. This hobby that I decided to partake in. You 
And hopefully I, you know, draw more people to it because it needs it. My friends, it needs it. I mean, this, it's a dying, it's just dying. And it's, it's really sad. If it continues to do what it's doing, you're going to find a lot fewer places to be able to go enjoy, you know, enjoy your pipe, enjoy smoking. a. It's, it's just going to be strictly cigars. You won't see pipes. Uh, you'll basically be just trying to find stuff online, pipes, and that probably won't ever completely die off. But you're seeing less and less uh, pipe-related products out there, and it really sucks. I hope everybody enjoyed, at least they could watch my second video last night where I showed you my little studio and my tobacco and you could actually see that one. Oh, that was so bad. Oh. But uh, yeah, that's where I do all the work. Pretty much hide down there for a few hours. I don't know how many people have ever done video editing, but it's it's quite uh, quite enjoyable. It takes some time, but I pretty much learned it all on my own. Not that I'm an expert at it, because I'm not, but uh, I get them done. Yeah, so now I'm halfway down this bowl, and yeah, it's it's good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It isn't like it's, like I said, it ruins it. It, it doesn't ruin it, but it don't have the just the sweetness, right? Um, you get this stuff. You get creme brulee, you know, fresh from the tobacco is there pack it light like I said and oh my god that stuff is sweet you won't ever get that out of any cigar definitely out of a cigarette yeah you know one thing I really would enjoy learning to do is restoring pipes and I might actually try to get a couple, you know, not real big jobs, but uh, easier ones. I can't remember the name of the channel, but I was watching it, and this guy restores some pretty badly damaged pipes, and he does an amazing job. If I remembered it, I'll, I'll, I'll put a shout out to that too, so you guys can watch him. Can't remember the name of it, but he had a like a 1910 Dunhill or something. Oh my God, this guy. He's a younger guy too. He doesn't sound very old. He doesn't show his face in his videos, but he doesn't sound very old. So it's hard to tell. But, uh, oh, he does a good job. I got to remember to get his name so I can throw his name out there for everybody. So, yeah, just remember, everybody, to, uh, you know, I want to continue to see more comments and uh, tell me what you like to pair your pipe with, okay? That's always interesting to me, what people like. You like coffee? You like uh, brandy? You like whiskey? I tried. I got brandy. I got some good brandy. I enjoy drinking brandy. I like old fashions. That's, I mean, that's not really like drinking straight brandy, but old fashions go terrific with a pipe. <laughs> that's a lot of preparation, though. But I kind of drink some brandy with it. Um, beer. I can drink beer with a pipe. It's not my favorite, but I can do it. Sweet tea. Real good. Can you tell I have a sweet tooth? I just like... Uh, <laughs> But I primarily drink coffee with it. I like a hot drink when I'm smoking a pipe, especially in the winter time. Uh, a lot of people like just regular <coughs> Coca-Cola. And it actually is not bad. I've done that plenty of times. That's another guy. There's a channel his, called the Aromatic Pipe. Tune into his channel. That guy is very, very descriptive. 
when it comes to smoking aromatics. He's a, he's a gray-haired gentleman like myself. Uh, very distinguished-looking man. Um, very awesome commentary. Um, yeah, I forgot to put his put him in the shout-outs. He's, he's really good. I don't think he puts out content anymore either, but he has some good videos when it comes to tasting pipe tobacco. Um, and, uh, I'm, I can retrohale if you really want to taste your, your tobacco, getting the, uh, learning how to retrohale really helps you. Um, you kind of let it up into your sinuses so you can, it really, the flavor really comes out. Um, so you're kind of almost, you have to bring the tobacco in. And almost you're letting it come out your nose, but you're letting it kind of linger in your sinuses for a while. A lot of people are uncomfortable doing that. I'm, but as far as I'm concerned, that's how you really get the full flavor of the smoke. I didn't pack this full, so it's almost done. So videos <laughs> about done. <laughs> Hey, what is not bad in here today? I just shut the garage door. Um, yeah. Not too bad. All I gotta do is open it when I'm done and let the smoke out and we're good. So, hopefully that tobacco will arrive tomorrow and I can do a, I'll do a review with for the uh, CAO Moon Trance. Um, I ordered these two from Pipes and Cigars, because if you go into their sampler section, they have both of these. They got a tin of Molta Dolce and a tin of the uh, Moon Trance. Can't quite remember. They got little nicknames for them, each, each deal. Um, I think it was like 15 bucks, something like that, which... Or with shipping, it's like $18. That's pretty good. It's really good. So, I'll have quite a bit of different, oh, quite a bit of variety down there. I'll tell you what, I watched a video from Derek Tant the other day. And he was showing off his, uh, his tobacco, what he's got, okay, for his tobacco storage. Oh my God. That guy's got to have $6,000 worth of tobacco. I, I couldn't believe how much tobacco he has. If you want to find him, Derek Tant. And he gets all this tobacco out. It's incredible. I don't know how. I don't have the room to do what he does and or the money. That's just, I don't know how many years he's been. I'm sure it's been a long time. But my goodness, he's got a lot. And not... I should actually uh, comment in that video thread because he had some uh, Davidoff Central Park Stroll and they don't make that anymore and I want to try that. And he had multiple tins of it. Wonder what he would want for him or trade for him. I have nothing he would want. Guarantee you that. But. That just goes to show you folks. If you find something you like. Buy it up. And store it. Because there's no guarantee that stuff's going to be around. Because that. I don't understand what happened there. Because they. I don't think they make any pipe tobacco anymore. As far as aromatics, I don't think David off, but uh, like I said, my old Shen Shenandoah, they still make uh, peach schnapps. They got different blends, but they don't make the one that I liked. So if you find something you really, really like, buy that stuff up because you could always, if they don't discontinue it, you could always get more later, but 
If they do, you're going to regret not doing it. That's for sure. So I hope you guys like the new layout. Doing what I can to please you guys, you know. That's that's just who I am. <laughs> just want to make it clear again how much I appreciate everybody who does join the channel and smoke with me and just sit down and support the channel, support the hobby. You are all wonderful, beautiful people. And like I said in my last video, that's that's what we're striving to do. Become just better people, um, better individuals. I'll use that term. I think that is the problem right now. At least in our country, the U.S., everything is tribal. Um, the illness, I think, is literally helping helping that continue okay you know you got it, it's just been so politicized now and everybody's you know you're either you either believe the the narrative or you don't and that's pretty much it and uh yeah there's there's a lot of angst out there and it's really sad i i hope it changes in 2022 and uh by the way my youngest is i have four sons and a daughter okay the daughter is the baby so i had to you know it took me five tries to get the girl pretty much and she just turned 20 this year and uh she has COVID. She tested positive Saturday and she feels just really rotten right now. So I want to call out to her and tell her that I love her and I hope she gets feeling better very soon. She already knows that. I told her, but we always worry about our children. We always will. Uh, that's just how we are. That's how we're wired. So uh, I hope all of you are safe and healthy. And continue to stay that way. And uh, that will be it for this video. So I will see you next time. Peace.